Universal Pictures presents everything you always wanted to do in high school with everyone you always wanted to do it with. Hey, bud, let's party. They're the students of Ridgemont High. Uh -huh. Brad Hamilton, the fast food king. I shall serve no fries before their time. It says 100% guaranteed, you moron. Mister, if you don't shut up, I'm going to kick 100% of your ass. Charles Jefferson, a man with a mission. Oh, gnarly. Linda Barrett, not exactly the girl next door. Awesome. Totally awesome. And Jeff surfs up Spicoli. People on moods should not drive. my skull. I'm so wasted. See Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It's totally gnarly birth control. <laughs> I can't stand it. Okay, so he's awesome. <laughs> Valley Girl. She's out there somewhere. This is the story of a boy from Hollywood who never dreamed the girl he'd want most was down here. I'll stop the world. Hello. Hello. Who invited you? Oh, wow, uh, you mean you have to be invited? Well, that explains it. What? Well, everyone is dressed for it. See, if I had been invited, I wouldn't know this was a costume party. Right. <laughs> it's the story of a girl from the valley who never dreamed she'd ever be seen with a boy from over here. It's like I'm not getting out of this car. All right, but when they attack the car, save the radio. So when can I see you again? I'm here with you now. I know. This is the story of Randy and Julie, the way they come together, and the people who try to pull them apart. Like, don't you think they have parties over there? Oh, where? At the zoo? This geek that she's with could scar her for life. God, life? If you think she's confused, you should see her father. I'm together now. Be right there. Randy's hot. She's from the valley. He's not. Valley girl. Rusty James. Biff Wilcox looking for you, Rusty James. I'm not hiding. He says he's gonna kill you, Rusty James. Man, me and you, we, we could have run this whole side of town if you just gave me a chance. You know, if you're gonna lead people, you have to have somewhere to go. I wonder why somebody hasn't taken a rifle and blown your head off. The motorcycle boy. You always try so hard to be like your brother, Rusty James. Hey, my brother's the coolest. Why do you dislike me so much? I mean, I've always tried to be your friend. You know, you might have made it a while on the motorcycle boy's rep, but you ain't got your brother's brains. 
Neither contrary to popular beliefs, your brother crazy. was the age of jazz and gangsters and bootleg booze. The age of everything but innocence. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Dutch Schultz. Do you know him? Sure. Everybody knows a Dutchman. A handful of mobs ruled the city. I got this girl coming. You keep her company, you can make me look good. A handful of men ruled the mobs. His records are very appealing to me. New York was their kingdom. This was their playground. The Cotton Club. Richard Gere is Dixie Dwyer. Am I blue? He came here looking for fame. Am I blue? And on the way, he found love and violence. <laughs> Guns, knives, bombs. It's not my life, Dutch. I play music. I'm talking about you. Why not come inside? You don't belong to me. And if you won't mind me, you gotta come to my house at 12. The Dutchess move fast in Harlem. You can't see a murder. Go home, wake up in the morning, have tea toast with a psychopath. Go. You can't do that, can you? Yes. The wind go away. All I want to do is take you away from all this. Look, let's get married now. No chance. I want to make it. I mean, really make it. Skies are oh so gray. I know all about you. The way you play your coronet. <laughs> I know about you, too. Like what you look like when you make love. If he came in here right now, he'd kill us. Crazy rhythm, I've gone crazy, too. Well, they're getting to be a problem. <laughs> you. Let's go. I want to ask you one more time. Want to come along? What were you doing backstage with him? I was kissing him. And I will again if I get the chance. Well, you'll never get it! Don't touch her. Don't you ever, on? ever touch her like that again! The Cotton Club. Where deals were made, lives were traded, and the legends of jazz lit up the night. I'm gonna kill him with my tap shoes. Now, master filmmaker Francis Coppola invites you... I take them all on! ...to the Cotton Club. Will we live happily ever after? This ain't real life. What is it? Jazz. It's an invitation you can't refuse. I can save you. Try me. for a month. For a while, we didn't even know who he was.
just a couple normal crazy Philly kids. And I'm not gonna do anything stupid, Bernie. Oh! Yeah! 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 I used to be on a team. He uh, used to be a wrestling champ. All wars have their casualties, Sergeant. The Army takes care of their own. Certainly took care of me, Doctor. I'm gonna fly. Sorry. How you doing back there? Don't worry, Bernie. They can't make me leave you again. You do shut up! Ned Hanlon is determined to become the fastest man on water. You don't know how good you are, do you? Sure I do. But first he's got to reform himself. <laughs> Refine himself. This is making me sick wearing these monkey suits. Control himself. And prove himself. Get up! Harvard man! There's a world of bloody difference between Rowan to escape the police. Rowan, like a champion in competition. They couldn't break his records. You'll never win another bloody race. Or his pride. Mr. Hanlon, you wouldn't recognize wind sophistication if it hit you in the face. Fun! Because he's trained too long. You still haven't seen what he can do when he really puts his mind to it. Pushed too hard. I want to win fair and square, not at all. And risked too much. We bet twenty thousand dollars. He's an investment that's going sour. To settle for anything less than being the best there is. You're gonna beat him. I know I can. Nicholas Cage is the boy in blue. The true story of a legend who left history in his wake. feelings about your father. I don't trust him. Well, Charlie won't be here tonight. We're getting divorced, actually. What am I doing here? You passed out for a minute, that's all. Oh, Mom. What is going on? You're home now. <laughs> you bought an Ansel. <laughs> I have a headache. Did we break up? Because if we did, I don't even know about it. What if you fall into the hands of some madman with plans to manipulate your brain? Well, that's why I was getting a divorce. I'm a grown woman with, with a lifetime of experiences you can't understand. Girls mature faster than guys. Digital watches. Miniature television sets. Oh, and huge radios. I mean, for some reason, everything else gets tiny, but portable radios get enormous. Peggy Sue and Mr. Square Root. Charlie, let's make love. What? You mean sex? Well, at least I got to see you and Grandma again. Has this ever worked before? The last time was 600 years ago. I could be trapped here forever. Change your destiny. Marry me. Will you marry me? 
I don't want to marry anyone, Richard. Why not? Polygamy is legal in Utah. I'm proposing to you now. I may be crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to marry you twice. Hey, Suga. Son, you got a panty on your head. Just drive fast, eh? Turn to the right! The first time I met Ed was in the county lockup in Tempe, Arizona. You're a flower, you are. A day I'll never forget. I do. You bet I do. OK, then. My lawless years were behind me. Our child-rearing years lay ahead. But <laughs> biology conspired to keep us childless. You go right back up there and get me a toddler. I need a baby high. They got more than they can handle. But at the time, his little plan seemed like the solution to all our problems. And the answer to all our prayers. He's beautiful. What are you kidding? We got us a family here. I want Nathan Jr. back. What's his name? Ed Jr. Hi, Jr. So far, we've just been using Jr. We call him Jr. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Hold on, Nathan. We're going to go pick up Daddy. I've been taking these huggies and uh, whatever cash you got. <laughs> you busted out of jail. We released Krishaz on our own recognizance. What Double here is trying to say is that we felt the institution no longer had anything to offer us. <gasps> we got a child now. Everything's changed. Yeah! Where's Junior? <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm a fan. We're absolutely going to get him back. Just ain't no question about that. Give me that baby, you warthog from hell. <laughs> hey, you want to know another thing? I'm going to be a better person from here on out. Let's go get Nathan Jr. Raising Arizona, a comedy beyond belief. Well, it ain't Ozzy and Harriet. The moon brings the woman to the man. Capisce? The moon is a little like love. Will you marry me? I will marry you. I will be your wife. You love them, Loretta? No. Good. When you love them, they drive you crazy. Sometimes. Why are you marrying Johnny? He's a fool. It makes you act a little crazy. Where are you taking me? To the bed. Oh, God. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. Take me. Take me to the bed. Isn't it romantic? You get a love bite on your neck. Your life's going down the toilet. You'll have your eyes open for you, my friend. I have my eyes open. I'll say no more. You haven't said anything. Ah, que bella You ruined my life. That's impossible. You ruined my life. Look, it's Cosmo's moon. Why do men chase women? Nerves. I don't want to talk about it. That moon. That crazy moon. Now you talk. I love you. What? Snap out of it. I'm confused. They say there's nothing new under the sun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> but under the moon, that's another story. Do you love him, Loretta? Ma, I love him awful. Oh, God, that's too bad. Share. Nicholas Cage in a Norman Jewison film. A la familia, eh? A la familia. Moonstruck. How was your weekend? It's all right, you know. There's nothing worth shattering. He was an ordinary guy. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Good morning. Looking for an extraordinary love. I'm Peter Lev. Rachel. I brought this girl up to my place the other night. 
It started with a kiss. Really hot. A very special kiss. You wanted her very badly. Yeah. A kiss that could drive you mad. I hate interrupted love affairs, don't you? Yep, 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 yep. It's affecting his work. There you are! It's a horrible, horrible job. And you have to do it. It's ruining his appetite. My next appointment with you is uh, Tuesday afternoon. I'd like to make it sooner. It's spoiling his sleep. Ah. Sooner. And don't think people haven't noticed. Am I getting through to you, Alva? He is so eccentric. My, my. For Peter Lowe. Oh, sooner. That's just love. Love? Love. In the big city. Yeah! Don't laugh. I'm a professional. I don't laugh. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! <laughs> Nicholas Cage. The tortures of the damned! Maria Conchita Alonso. Shoot it. Do it or I'll fire you. Do you understand? <laughs> Not the floor, Alva. And Jennifer Beals. You are so pathetic. <clears throat> Vampire's kiss. Strange stuff. I'll never do that again. Jeez. Can I talk to Lula? You are not going to see him ever. go the far end of the world for you, baby. A man can't ask for more than that. You move me, Sal. You really do. You want me to shoot Sailor in the brains with a gun? Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't have much parental guidance. Baby, you better run me back to the hotel. You got me hotter in Georgia asphalt. This whole world wild and hard and weird on top. objective in your lives to become masters of air-to-air -air combat tactics okay baby let's do it that pilot's good you have a problem with women in the army preston not with all of them sir aren't you forgetting something you keep them come on show me what you got gee is this a quiz sir your whole life's a quiz young man I'll wash you out if you can't cut it you clear on that i got it i got it it's like sex I need you to help me out. Hardly anybody gets it perfect the first time. We're pushing these guys a little too hard, sir. Who wants me out of here? I think you could be one of the best. <laughs> time to rock and roll. Just so you know, I will be kicking your rear today. Good. People, there's a hostile situation. We are on red alert. This is not a drill. You think it's fine for me to be a pilot as long as there's nothing at stake? People are gonna die down there! We will confront the forces of evil and kill them dead or in hell. Let's get them in the air! Stop that! I'm on my own! Get the hell out of there, Arm. Quickly, do you have contact? We are going in, Mayday. 
Mayday. Shoot him! Blast him! Can you move? That was crap! Go pop three latches on that missile, bring it over here. Go lose on our head. Wax him now. Put it on your shoulder, quick, 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 quick. Take him, take him, cook him, clean him! I got him in my sight. He's getting position. He's going down. And I'm hearing a noise. Wavy noise or solid noise? No missile. Solid! Lock him up! Kill him now! Shoot him in the air. She was young, beautiful, and married, but she was not desired. I want you like we used to want. She had everything, but she was not fulfilled. God, it has nothing to do with you. Until a stranger entered her life. I know what you really are. I make no excuses for what I do. And swept her into a world of insatiable passion. I want you to move in with me. No. I'm gonna kill him. You have a mistress, don't you? <sighs> Go to him. That is your husband. Talk to him. I can't be what you want me to be. Yes, you can. It's over. You don't love him. Nicholas Cage. I can't get you out of me. You don't know anything about love. Judge Reinhold and sensational film newcomer Erica Anderson. Keep it careful what you want. You might just get it. Go! Sandra Lee. Jack, if I go, I want you to make me a promise that you'll always love me. Of course, Mom. And you'll never get married. I need a commitment. I want to be married. I can't walk out. Jack Singer has made his decision. Let's just do it. Get on a plane, go to Vegas, and do it. Now. Jack is going to get married. You're serious? I must be. My legs are paralyzed. But a funny thing happened on the way to the wedding. Sorry, man. Straight flush to the Jack. To the queen. Wise men say Yo, Tommy Coleman, $65,000 Only fools rush in Eddie, do you have a solution? I do I want your girlfriend for the weekend You brought me to Las Vegas and you turned me into a hooker, Jack? I'll be a perfect gentleman He's taking me to Hawaii No! address is near Kapa'a'a. Ah, ah. Is it Kapa'a'a ah, ah, or Kapa'a'a? Ah, ah, ah. If you want to leave, believe me, I understand. Is it A-A-A or A-A? It's just a little overwhelming, you know, to be pursued like this. What about near where Don Ho or Jack Lord lives? That must be a pretty good neighborhood. Why the women, when they come here, oh, they get crazy. They like freaky freaky all night long. No one ever was as crazy about you as I am. Well, that's just so wonderful to hear. Let's just fly to Vegas and get married and go on with our lives. Just get me anywhere where I can get a connecting flight to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, anybody? Come on, hop aboard. We're the flying elves of Utah, Jack. Well, bless my soul. The king may be dead, but Jack Singer is not far behind. Listen, if you could just drop me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we we'll sure drop you. Honeymoon in Vegas. <laughs> Andrew Sterling has always dreamed of leaving the big city and escaping to a secluded island. No stress, no hassles, no problems. That is, until he met another man trying to escape. I know you're in here. Andrew meets Amos. I have a shotgun. You have a frying pan. And in one wild night... A one million dollars! And, uh, and a helicopter! Put your weapon down, let your hostage go. Two guys from two different worlds. Maybe you've heard of the Pulitzer Prize. You won that? I did. How much you win? In one fell swoop, became partners in crime. We're gangsters. Freeze! We're outlaws. <laughs> Sounded like they were getting pretty chummy to me. <clears throat> 
two people who came to an island for one reason. Get it! To escape. <laughs> Sit! Not you. Nicholas Cage. Contributing to the delinquency of a minor. What do you have to say about that? She looked 18. Samuel L. Jackson. Amos and Andrew. A comedy about two mismatched men trying to escape from each other. Looking for. I was hoping to get on a drilling crew. Why don't you try, uh, try Red Rock? Maybe somebody there can head you in the right direction. I thought you were supposed to be here last Friday. You are here for the job, aren't you? And you're Lyle from Dallas, right? Right. There's the five, like we agreed, just to go out to the house, break in. When she comes in, you, uh, well, you know what to do. Your name's Suzanne? Red Rock West, from Columbia TriStar Home Video. After a lifetime in the public eye, former First Lady Tess Carlisle retired to her Ohio home. But she did not go quietly. What do we look like, waiters? Are we a bunch of waiters? Just ask the Secret Service agent. I can't do three more years of this. Guarding Tess. We are going to the opera in Columbus. Mrs. Carlisle, that emergency alarm is the usual. That alarm belongs to me, and I will use it by God any time I see fit. I wish she these days. What's she like? I guess you could say she's several different personalities in one. <laughs> well, one of her personalities called the White House last night and asked the president if he could arrange for you to stay on with him. <laughs> the president. We are not leaving this house until you are seated properly with your seatbelt firmly fastened. Nope. It's the worst assignment there is. I need a price check and Lesore baby peas. They're on special today, two for 59. Copy that, Doug, but I believe we've lost interest in peas. Repeat, lost interest in peas. Do you be kind enough to get my ball. I'm a secret service agent, Mrs. Carlisle. Not a caddy. I told her. You want that ball, you go find it yourself. Come on. What are you, crazy? I'd be very careful if I were you, agent. Doug, telephone. Please hold for the president. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, and you? Well, I'm not too good. I'm having a damn test call out problem. Maybe you and I know what a pain in the butt she is, but this one is a national treasure. I wouldn't tick her off. A couple of more phone calls to the White House, and you'll be guarding my dog. You understand what I'm saying? So. She took off! Tell them they're just out joyriding again. It's not a problem. Seven well-trained, heavily armed men can't take care of one little old lady. Damn! You should have a martini. You should, better yet, give a tired old widow a break. Shirley McLean. With all due respect, why me? Because I like you, Douglas. Please hold for the president. Nicholas Cage. I don't get it myself. One day she calls me, says she can't live without you. Next day she's calling almost in tears. You know, maybe you two have some kind of sicko thing going on. No, 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 sir, no, sir. Guarding Tess. I'm counting on you, and so's the country. Muriel and Yvonne all lived in a city where people prayed for miracles every day. What are my options here? Like winning the $64 million lottery. Leave a tip. Lottery ticket? With my luck. Be serious. No. If this ticket wins, I'll come back tomorrow and split the proceeds. And if it doesn't, I'll still come back and leave you a tip. What do you think? I think I'm never going to see you again. Charlie was married to Muriel. I tell you, I'm a person who needs money. 64. 84. <laughs> all lived in a city where people prayed for miracles every day. And sometimes, they happened. It could happen to you. Zaterdag op Film 1 Family. I'm robbing the bank! It's across the street. Breaking in the bank. On Christmas Eve. It doesn't seem right. Trying to pull a heist. Who's got the key? Raise your hand! Oh, there's just no way to steal. Four left! As I start going, you idiot! From people to start nice. Why don't you come join my family for Christmas dinner? Dinner's on the stove. Smells good. Wait till you see the giblet gravy. <laughs> Mom is on her way. You guys are dumber than a box of hair. They're out to put the money back and save this holiday. 
20th Century Fox presents the story of a town so nice. Do you need any money? Now, we've got more than I share already. It's turning three wise guys <laughs> into three wise men. Yeah, I'm going to put the money back. You are going to be the first guy in history to get pinched for putting money back. No! Trapped in paradise. You don't aggravate the old witch. I wish I was a witch. I'd shove my broomstick right up your... Ma! I know you don't want to be involved with this. I don't know what else to do, all right? I'm your blood cousin, Jimmy. I'm your blood cousin. You know that. Please don't let this happen. You want a little air on this? Give me some names. There is no way on God's green earth that you can tell me that you did not know the guy who got you into this mess. I've got no reason to lie. Everybody's got a reason to lie. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Whatever don't. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Whatever don't kill you, man. I like that. Did you ever hear about Little Junior Brown? It looks like Little Junior's moving up in the world. Cars, drugs, guns. He's buying everything he can get his hands on. Big Junior. That's one of those expressions like... Jumbo shrimp. Oh my, the cars. And I take them all. Except that Explorer. What's the matter with the Explorer? It's red. Red's my bad luck color. I ain't got nothing to do with red. Are you a man of honor? Sure. 24. If I serve him up. Jeez, what you been eating? Would you say to me now, you will cut me loose for all time? Absolutely. Uh, do you want my hand on it or something? If you take that wow one more time, I'm personally gonna beat you to death. Maybe the next time you lay a hand on me, it won't be such a one-way beating. <laughs> Ronnie, I want you to listen to this. An oldie but goodie. The time has come for everyone to clean up their own backyard. Hey, the pace is too heavy, y'all. This mother smells scared, Junior. You can do nothing, man. What? You got something to say? I will do whatever I have to do to protect me and mine. Don't push, all right? It's been a hard week. All I want now is what I had in my life before you and them. Now is not the time, my man, but I'm gonna see you real soon. See me now. Tomorrow, just come by the bar. We should have a conversation about life and stuff. I thought I'd move out to Las Vegas. My heart is crying, crying. I just need some cash tonight. Please, don't drink it in here. Ben wasn't looking for a fresh start. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars for a 93 Rolex Daytona. I'll do it. He wasn't looking for any trouble. I was wondering if you would buy me a drink. Do you mind if I buy her a drink? <laughs> And he wasn't trying to fall in love. I really wish you'd come home with me. You're so cute. And I'm really good and bad, too, believe me. No? Okay. But now, on the road to nowhere, he's about to take a detour. Hi! Are you working? Working? What do you mean working? I'm walking. It's pretty funny. If you'll come to my room for one hour, I will give you $500. I'm gonna love you. I'm Ben. I'm Sarah. So it like brings no you to Las Vegas. I came here to drink myself to Come death. Why don't you stay at my place? Okay. This is the home of an angel. Are you okay? Of course. Wow, you look extremely beautiful. I do. You're gonna drink! I want you to see a doctor. Both know I'm a drunk. <coughs> Nurse! 
Then I know what you do. Is this a full night's work? I hope you understand that I'm a person who is totally at ease with this. I was really worried about how that would be. No, I'm not. Nicholas Cage. I am not here to force my twisted soul into your life. I'm in love with you. Elizabeth Shue. I need you. I love you. United Artist Pictures presents a romance as unexpected as love itself. Cosmopolitan magazine raves Nicholas Cage is electrifying. Vogue calls Elizabeth Shue's performance a career changing revelation. And Rex Reed exclaims, Cage and Shu are heartbreaking and honest in Oscar-caliber performances. I like it here with you. Let's stay for a while. Leaving Las Vegas. Following is a state secret, gentlemen. Disclose it to any party and you will be subject to prosecution. His name is John Mason, British national, incarcerated on Alcatraz in 1962, escaped in 63. There's no identity in the United States or Great Britain. He does not exist. Secrets have a way of coming back to haunt you. There's a hostage situation on Alcatraz. Hostage, 81 tourist. The Rock's a tourist attraction. The one you train to defend you becomes your greatest threat. A battery of VX gas rockets is presently deployed to deliver a highly lethal strike on the population of the San Francisco Bay Area. And the one you abandon becomes your only hope. You go talk to him. Me? Yeah. Hiya. I'm an agent with the uh, F FBI. I'm Stanley Goodsby. But of course you are. At least he got his name right. Now, all that stands between a city and a disaster. The power of this chemical is way beyond anything you can imagine. That's why you're coming with us. Is a man who's never seen combat. You're a chemical freak. <laughs> I'm a chemical super freak, actually. And another who's been out of action for 30 years. Show us on the blueprints. I can't. My blueprint was in my head. Fortunately, some things you'll never forget. But don't worry, it'll all come back to me. From Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer, the producers of Top Gun and Crimson Tide, and Michael Bay, the director of Bad Boys. Welcome to The Rock. We got visitors. Sean Connery. I'm sure you're ready for this. Do my best. Your best. Losers always whine about their best. Yeah. Nicholas Cage. Listen, I'm just a biochemist. I drive a Volvo. Beige one. So what do you say? You cut me some friggin' slack. Ed Harris. Fire. He's a U.S. Ranger. Highly decorated. Did a little hell raising when he was a kid, but nothing serious. He's defending his wife. Got in a drunken brawl. And he killed the guy. Could have happened to you or me. After serving the last of his sentence, Cameron Poe is taking the first plane home to his wife and daughter. 
Today's flight is a special one. We're populating Louisiana's Felton Penitentiary. These guys are the worst of the worst. I see a lot of celebrities among us. I see 11 primetime lives, three regions of Kathy Lee's, and a genuine 2020 interviewee. What you looking at, punk? Nothing, I was just lying on your cage. But one wrong flight. Stewardess, what's the in-flight movie today? <laughs> can ruin your whole day. What happened? We caught the plane, man! Welcome to Con Air. Jailbird 1, you are not cleared for takeoff. And nobody on this aircraft gives a flyer. The issue here is how the plane is brought down. Shoot it down. There are innocent people up there. He's got a little girl to come home to. He's been waiting for this day for eight years. What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm gonna save the day. This summer, check your weapons. Take your seat. Isn't that your car? And say your prayers. He's got the whole world in his hands. From Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer of The Rock, Nicholas Cage, John Cusack, John Malkovich. Where are they gonna land this thing? How do you feel about the blackjack tables? On June 6th. by Simon West. Thank you, and have a pleasant flight. I've been uh, chasing this guy ever since I joined the force. He, he has no conscience, and he, uh, he shows no, no remorse. He's the mastermind behind numerous bombings and political assassinations. He, uh, it's a felony list a mile long, murder, arson, kidnapping, terrorism, you name it. He's the most dangerous and brilliant criminal mind I've ever known. I, for years, I've, I've been watching him, tracking him, studying his every every move. I know his every, every mannerism, facial tick gesture. I know him better than he knows himself. And now, after all this time, I finally figured out a way to trap him. I will become him. I live. You're not having any fun, are you, Sean? Try terrorism for hire. We'll blow some stuff up. It's more fun. Plan B. Let's just kill each other. In a place called the City of Angels. One of us... Dr. Rice, go, 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 go. 300. ...is about to meet one of them. Have you ever been seen, Cassio? Have you ever been seen like you were a man? Come on. Come on, don't do this. He's going. He's not going anywhere. That doctor in the operating room, she looked right at me. She didn't see you, Seth. She can't see you. No one can see you unless you want them to. And if I want her to? What do you want her to? Hello, Maggie. How did you know my name? Are you in despair? I lost a patient. It wasn't your fault, Maggie. Those eyes. The way you looked right, right down into me. I can't see you, but I know you're there. Who are you? Nathaniel Messenger former celestial body recent addition to the human race. You want proof? You can speak every language. You travel with the speed of thought. And you're reading my mind right now. Stop that. You're doing it. Here you are again. This is Earl. He told me. 
<laughs> what else does he tell you? He worries that you never sleep, and he loves to see you smile. Oh. <laughs> I wait all day just hoping for one more minute with you, and I don't even know you. What do you want to know? Are you married? No. Are you homeless? No. Are, are you a drummer? Seth knows no fear, no pain. He hears music in the sunrise, but he'd give it all up. He loves you that much. What style tastes like? You don't know what a pear tastes like? I don't know what a pear tastes like to you. Santoro. Hello, Hello, Richard again. Santoro. Ah, I'm Ricky! And I am the king! A pepperoni, sausage, Canadian bacon. Listen, why don't you just get to the deluxe and save time, all right? Look, I got business. Call me back in five. There he is! There's the man whose life I want! <laughs> and now, the distinguished Secretary of Defense. Great oh, idea. Yeah. Put a flashing light on your head while you're at it. Oh, why are you so uptight? It's my night! We're on insecurity tonight. I got a lot on my mind. Watch carefully. That seem right to you? Kevin, that is right in so many ways. No, I mean, beautiful woman alone at a fight. A crime is about to be committed. Now listen to me, Mr. Secretary. I am telling you, you are the one that's going to be sorry. You will be a witness. And the hardest thing to spot will be the truth. I'm a homicide detective and a material witness. You can't hold 14,000 people. Those are 14,000 eyewitnesses! We have 1,500 cameras. 800 on the casino side, 720 on the hotel side. What are you looking for? Exactly when they wanted you to. I didn't miss him with that second shot. I missed you. I'm betting that the redhead you follow is the same person who told Tyler to throw the fight. She's one. Shooter's two. Tyler's three. The drunk who shouted the signal's four. Whoever was on the other end of that radio was five. Five people make a conspiracy, right? It sounds like he's conducting a very dangerous investigation. I'm not gonna let you kill her. Please, Ricky. You're all alone on this. The house wins. This is the mortgage. It's Cindy's college money. Mm -hmm. If I do right by Mrs. Christian, the circle she runs in, this could be the break we've been waiting for. It's gonna take longer than a couple weeks. That's all I can tell you, honey. Sometimes you can't know what I'm doing. It's better that way. It's always that way. You come highly recommended, Mr. Wells. You're praised for your discretion. Thank you, ma'am. As you know, my husband passed away recently. Yes. My husband was the only one with the combination to the safe. These were my husband's private things. I didn't. I didn't realize. Do you want to tell me what you found, Mrs. Christian? Private Detective Tom Wells is one of the only people who has seen it. It is eight millimeters wide. It runs at 16 frames per second. And he has been hired to discover. All I want is to know. This atrocity is false. I want the proof of it. If what's on it is real. Finding the guys who made this film is going to be very difficult. I need information. I thought you might be able to help. You name the vice, I name the price. 
I'm gonna tell you, there's things that you're gonna see that, that you can't unsee. They get in your head and they stay there. Some doors should never be opened. Tom, where are you? You dance with the devil. The devil don't change. The devil changes you. Because once you go through... We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. There is no going back. No! Nicholas Cage. I'm trying to understand! Whoever you were, just forget about it. I can't. There's no one left to finish this but me. Eight millimeter. A film by Joel Schumacher. Six too young. Six too young is here, baby. <laughs> and I'ma take care of you. Thursday started out with a bang. Heat, humidity, moonlight, all the elements in place for a long weekend. I was good at my job. There were periods when my hands moved with the speed and skill beyond me. How long have you been doing this? Five years. Wow, you must have seen some things, huh? But in the last year, I'd started to lose that control. I've been seeing the ghosts. You ever notice people who see things are always crazy? Mm-hmm. I just needed a few slow nights, followed by a couple of days off. There's a double shooting, 41st and 8th. What happened to chest pain, difficulty breathing, fractured hands? Don't even slow down, just keep on moving. Nobody loves me, Chris. You have the power, Jesus, not to spare this worthless man. Rise up! I'll be banging! Damn, you guys are good. I'm on my way out. Anytime now. Nobody gets fired, so <laughs> look at me. <laughs> you swore that you'd fire me if I came in late again. You swore it. You swore it. I'll fire you tomorrow. Old man's a bus driver, mom a nurse. Sort of born to it, I guess. Rule number one don't get involved with patients' daughters, you understand? Our mission to save lives Blast off! help others and you help yourself that was my motto i understood how crazy it was to think this way but then something good will happen everything just glows here's to the greatest job in the world frank are you okay never felt better in my life how are you I'm good. Good. You can't put your arm around a memory. You can't put your arm around a memory. You can't put your arm around a memory. Time it took you to buy your ticket. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. 3.2 minutes. Time it took you to get your popcorn. 2.5 minutes. Time it took them. Oh, let's go, let's go, go. To steal your car. car. Hello, ladies. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Move, 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 go. Come on, swing, baby, work your magic. Hold on, I know you ain't gonna do what I think you're gonna do. to go old school. A day to shop, a day to prep. Surprise attack. Nice. Little trick I learned in the car thief retirement home. By the time the first car's reported stolen, Almost. your ship set sail. We do this, we do it my way. <laughs> I was just a sucker for a redhead. <laughs> okay, let's ride. Gone in 
60 seconds. What do you think is more exciting, having sex? Or stealing cars? Christmas. I'm giving everything I've got to this deal. You're a credit to capitalism, Jack. Yes. Come on, Dad, get up. It's Christmas, it's Christmas. Jack, strong coffee. Where's my Ferrari? You got a Ferrari? Just tell me what's happening to me. This is a glimpse. A glimpse of what? This is not my beautiful house. This is very strange because this isn't my house. Ah. This is not my beautiful wife. Those, those aren't my kids. Oh. You're not really my dad, are you? I don't have time for this. I'm in the middle of a deal. Well, you're working on a new deal now, baby. Good Lord. You must have needed this every day. Yeah, you need it in Mag Wheels. You want me. That is the general idea. Oh, God, you're beautiful. How can you look at me like you haven't seen me every day for the last 13 years? <laughs> Jack! What's up? How you feel, baby? Can't keep coming in and out of people's lives, messing things up. It's not right. I need you to remember me, Kay. Keep it with you no matter what happens. Well, it's too late tonight to drag the past out into the night. One life, but we're not the same. We can carry each other. The Family Man. On an island untouched by time. A stranger came into their lives. Out on the quest, sir. The fact is, I'm sorry to say, and with great regret, that my orders are to billet an officer in your home. I am a doctor. This is my surgery. I don't have room for guests. I'm Captain Antonio Corelli. If you could tell me where I'm going to sleep. In my daughter's room. But where will your daughter sleep? It's none of your business where I sleep. The other night when you were dancing, the way you were moving, turn of your head. I thought I could watch you forever. You think you can come here and turn my whole world upside down? The other night when you were dancing, I thought I could watch you forever. You think you can come here and turn my whole world upside down? You love him. When you fall in love, everything becomes possible.
to you, Joe. I want you to write back. I don't know if you ever knew it or you just forgot. But the world's a beautiful place. No, sir. Ship out tomorrow morning. You see any combat, Yazi? Looking forward to getting into some. How are you now? Relay the coordinates! Jump gang, come! And they shall see! Yeah! You done good today, Baron. Uh, you never called me that before. Your mission is to protect the code at all costs. You understand me? Yes, sir. I do. Think you could do it, Joe? Could you do it if you had to? If you got caught, the code would be useless. You just do what you're supposed to do. He's my responsibility! I can't let him take it. This is over. You should come out to Navajo country. You can meet my son. And you can meet the guy who watched over Daddy. Shut up, Marine! Come on! Yourself, right? <laughs> You're a strange man. <laughs> You're 26 years old, Sonny. How much longer do you think you can keep this up? As long as I have to. Hell of a lifestyle we got going here. You well, know, it's always better at night than it is in the morning. Golden Globe winner James Franco. Golden Globe winner Brenda Blethyn. Nina Suvari. Harry Dean Stanton. In a film by Nicolas Cage. Sonny. She hates me. She's disappointed. I could see it in her eyes when we met. I've got to stop sweating. Oh, she looked at my hairline. She thinks I'm bald. She's thinking I would never in a million years sleep with this guy. We think you're great. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's 
That's nice to hear. To begin, coffee would help me think. Coffee and a muffin. I'm going up to Santa Barbara this Saturday, and I, I was wondering. Oh. I'm sorry. So I'll just be right back with your pie then. Drum roll, please. I'm going to be a screenwriter, like you. I'm putting in a chase sequence. So the killer flees on horseback, cops after them on a motorcycle. And it's like a battle between motors and horses, like technology versus horse. Susan, we would really like to option this. You want to make it into a movie? I want to know what it feels like to care about something passionately. John LaRoche is a tall guy, sharply handsome. The book has no story. There's no story. Make one up. Okay, we open with LaRoche. No, we open at the beginning of time. Okay, we open with LaRoche. Crazy white man. We open on Charlie Kaufman. Fat, bald, ugly, paces. I've written myself into my screenplay. That's kind of weird, huh? I guess we thought that maybe Susan and LaRoche could fall in love. I just don't want to ruin it by making it a Hollywood thing. It's like I don't want to cram in sex or guns or car chases or characters overcoming obstacles to succeed in the end. She's crying. What's she hiding from us? I think you actually need to speak to this woman to know her. People find love, people lose it. Every day, someone somewhere takes a conscious decision to destroy someone else. Who's gonna play me? Oh, I'd like I think I should play me. Under pressure. Under pressure. Tell me what's been bothering you. No, I don't like being outdoors. Tell me you've left the house in three days. Mm. One, two, three. Have you eaten anything in three days? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Besides canned tuna? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Dirt. <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot of ticks. <laughs> <laughs> These distractions affected your work of late? What would you do if you had to change careers? What, if I wasn't an antiques broker? If you weren't a criminal. I'm Agent Kellaway. This is Agent Cole. We're from the Federal Trade Commission. You've been the victim of fraud. Do you have any more of those L-47s? Oh, yeah, maybe in the car. Oh, wait a second. Oh, here we go. This is Dr. Klein. I just got off the phone with Angela, your daughter. She says she really wants to meet you. Remember me? All of a sudden, I have a daughter. Somebody get in here. Hallelujah. You got a chick in here? It's a riot, huh? Little training bras hanging from the shower rods. <laughs> That's no way for a young lady to behave, and uh, uh, shame on you! Just try to be as honest and open with them as possible. Right. You're a con man? A con artist. Wow. Flim flam man, matchstick man, take your pick. And that guy, Frank? He's my partner. Teach me something. Rule number one, never work near where you live. Don't. Rule number two, yeah. don't write anything down. <laughs> you regret it? Exposing her to that. Well, uh, you know, it was a little. It, it made me feel a little. I, you know, I was a little. I really liked it. How much do you think we can take that guy for? Thirty grand. More. Five hundred thousand? A million? Come on, I'm twenty-one. This fourteen-year-old girl working these people with me. My dad's a smooth operator. <laughs> I'm not very good at being a dad. I barely get by being me. You good to go? Is it poke poo in the woods? Just say yes, okay? There's one last thing. What? I want you to give the money back. This is so... You think crime isn't paid? No, it does. It does, just not very well. Benjamin Franklin Gates, you are undertaking the duty of the family Gates to find the most spectacular treasure in history. It grew throughout the ages and moved across continents until it was hidden by America's founding fathers who left clues to the treasure's location right before our eyes. The unfinished pyramid, the all-seeing eye, are telling us something. Keeping this treasure safe, Benjamin, is your destiny. You're treasure hunters, aren't you? We're more like 
treasure protectors. All his life, Benjamin Gates has searched for a treasure no one believed existed. Don't you get it, Ben? The treasure is a myth. Dad, I refuse to believe that. But what he thought was the final clue... 108 years of searching and I'm three feet away. ...is only the beginning. The Declaration of Independence. You think there is a treasure map on the back of the Declaration of Independence? The map is invisible. Oh. Why would we make this up? Where's your proof? We don't have it. Riley, get down! Did Bigfoot take it? Word about the map is bound to get out. Ian's gonna try to steal it. 90 seconds. The only way to protect the Declaration is to steal it. What? I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Uh, Ben? From producer Jerry Bruckheimer and director John Turtletaub. It is surrounded by guards and video monitors and little kids on their eighth grade field trip. You will go to prison, you know that, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, go! Get out of there. Get out of there now. He's got the bloody map. The clues of ten generations. There's more to the riddle. We'll reveal a mystery 20 centuries in the making. Who wants to go down the creepy tunnel inside the tomb first? Ah! Tell me what the next clue is. What do you see? Nicholas Cage. National treasure. There are over 550 million firearms in worldwide circulation. That's one firearm for every 12 people on the planet. The only question is, how do we arm the other 11? Selling guns is like selling vacuum cleaners. You make calls, pound the pavement. I supplied every army but the Salvation Army. Can you bring me the gun of Rambo? Part one, two, or three. I've only seen part one. By the mid-80s, my weapons were represented in eight of the world's top ten war zones. Damn, you are good. You get rich by giving the poorest people on the planet the means to continue killing each other. Guys, guys, guys! Say what you like about warlords and dictators. They always pay their bills on time. I would tell you to go to hell, but I think you're already there. I want the money. This is your thing? I'm in transport. That's what I want. She doesn't know how you pay for all this. We don't talk about it. How many car salesmen talk about their work? I'm not saying I didn't have setbacks. There are men going through our garbage cans. Is there anything I should be worried about? No, nothing. The first and most important rule of gun running is never get shot with your own merchandise. Is everything okay? Rough day at the office. We're the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And I guess this isn't about the alcohol or the tobacco. There's a will, there's a weapon. You know, they call me the Lord of War, but perhaps it is you. It's Warlord. Thank you, but I prefer it my way. Is this how you want to be remembered? I don't want to be remembered at all. This wind system will keep pushing colder air across the Midwest. Our Spritz Nipper of the Week, just 24. I don't like his face. I like him. He's handsome. My job's very easy. Two hours a day, basically reading prompts. Hey, weatherman! Every couple months, someone throws something at me. I receive a large reward for pretty much zero effort and contribution. The shakes and stuff are a reaction to that, I think. Why would someone throw a shake at you? You just read the weather. Shelly. She's doing great. It's fruitless for Shelly to be dancing. She should find another interest that would be more rewarding to her. We've talked about that. Well, you should do something, son. My father's Robert King's Pritzel. He was a great writer and a great dad. You always worry about your kids. No matter how old, there's always looking after. Noreen! <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? I was just... You turned into it. I encourage Shelly to explore some other activities and interests. 
She picked our turn. Ow! Don't forget the tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Anything else? No. Where is the tartar sauce? I thought you were trying to improve matters. I am. Give me time to get it together. I can get it together. Well, that's great. Do you know that the harder thing to do and the right thing to do are usually the same thing? Let's go, Team Splits! Easy doesn't enter into grown-up life. To get anything of value, you have to sacrifice. There's a lesson here. Let's finish. People don't throw things at me anymore. Maybe because I carry a bow around. Hey, hello, weatherman. It's not easy. But easy doesn't enter into grown-up life. Okay, let it go. Awesome. Tuesday, September 11. Color for the day is green. As always, protect yourselves. Watch each other's backs. We have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Prepared for everything. Not this. Not for some of this size. There's no plan. Okay, listen up. We gotta evacuate the tower. Who's coming? Step forward. I got it, Sarge. I'll go. Sarge. All right. Follow me. Stay together. Still see the light. Afternoon. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'll get it. Give me your hand! Edward, I know that we haven't spoken in a few years. I need your help. I need your help. I have a daughter. Her name is Rowan. She has been missing for two weeks now. I fear she is in danger, so now I turn to you. Be careful and believe nothing that you see or hear. Lost your bearings? Oh, hey. Sorry. Snuck up on me there. This is private property. Do you know her? Hmm. I don't recognize this child. Welcome. girl is still here. She has been taken by who I don't know. I'll find her. 
If she existed, we would know of her. Whose desk is this, hmm? Rowan? Hello? You suspect foul play. The wicker man returns. Who's the wicker man? I'm gonna search every inch of this town. She'll burn to death. She burned to death. I need your help. Daddy. has ever attempted such a distance before. 300 feet from field goal to field goal. What's going through your mind right now? You look really good. I got lucky. Luck don't cover it, JB. You got an angel looking after you. Maybe it's something else. All you have to do is sigh. Forget about family. Forget about friends. Forget about love. You will be the writer for as long as you live. I'm not doing it. You have no choice. Story goes that he'll be normal during the day, but at night, in the presence of evil, the rider takes over. You deserve a second chance. Blackheart's coming to create hell on Earth, and you have the power he needs. Stay away from anybody he can use against him. Roxanne. Don't you care about me at all? You have to leave now. I'm not going anywhere. Any man who sells his soul for love has the power to change the world. Smell your fear. I'm gonna take this curse and use it against you. You have this rat chopper. It was all flames and stuff. His face was a skull and it was on fire. On fire? Like. Back to hell. Looking for someone. I'm good. I feel like my skull's on fire, but I'm good. Tell me what just happened. What did you see? If I do what you want. He'll keep me in this chair forever. Chris Johnson has the ability to see things before they happen. And if you can see the future, you can change the present. But that kind of power has a price. You can see things before they happen. Only my future, except with you. I saw far beyond anything I'd ever seen before. You need to get away from here. I believe that the urgency of the situation compels the use of any and all resources to obtain Chris Johnson. I've seen every possible ending. None of them are good for you. Millions of lives are at risk. You could prevent a major catastrophe. I don't want you to die. It happened. 
It just hasn't happened yet. On April 27th, every way I try, she still ends up dead. She's still alive. We all are. Just trying to keep it that way. You may think you know what the future holds. Who the hell are you people? But nothing can prepare you. Don't do it. We already have. For what happens next. Tell me what you saw. I made a mistake. It's happening. Now! What is it about treasure that makes history so fascinating? Benjamin Gates has spent a lifetime hunting treasures that have been lost to history. Take a look at this. But when a secret from the past is uncovered... Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the missing pages from the diary of John Wilkes Booth. History will be rewritten. It's the names of the Lincoln conspirators. Thomas Gates. Your great-great-granddaddy planned the assassination. It can't be. We cannot have him remembered as a conspirator in the assassination of the man who brought this nation together. Now. I need to see the page. You have 30 seconds to disable the alarm. Go. You do that in 15 seconds. That's why I tell people to get a dog. His search to clear his family's name. Take a look at this. It's a cipher. Clever. Has uncovered a secret he never expected to find. There is a book, and it has the information you need. The President's Book of Secrets. A collection of documents for President's eyes only. The truth behind the JFK conspiracy. The missing minutes from the Watergate tapes. And of course, Area 51. It contains all of our nation's secrets. I need to see the president's book. The only way you'll ever see that book is if you get elected president. I'm gonna kidnap him. I'm gonna kidnap the president of the United States. Wouldn't it just been easier for us to make an appointment? Code one, code one! Gates. Don't kid yourself what we're capable of. Every clue leads one step closer. A letter sent by the Queen. You're in danger. You've got to find wherever that leads before they do. To unlocking the mystery. The world isn't ready to believe. Ben, wait. That could be a horrible trap. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <sighs> National Treasure Book of Secrets. Oh, look, my tax dollars at work coming to arrest me. My job takes me to a lot of places. I sleep alone. I eat alone. I'd like to meet someone. But it's tough when you live out of a suitcase. My name's Joe. This is what I do. Purpose of your visit to Bangkok, Mr. Vincent? Holiday. All my clients have one thing in common. They feed off the people. There's big money and misery. Where there's money, there's competition. And the guy paying me usually wins. Not enough. in money. You want to make some money? Two thousand a day. What's your name? Carl. You know the Caribbean Club? Ask for a dancer named Om. Give her this. She's gonna give you a package. When it comes to killing, the man in the kiss. He hurts many country girls. He buys them from their parents and sell them. Make it quick. Make it clean. Do the police know who you are? No one knows who I am. And never make it personal. Don't take an interest in people outside of work. There is no such thing as trust. What is your work? Oh, uh, banking. This summer. This guy fights bad guys and helps the poor. Thai people love him. He's a very good man, same like you. When you deal in the business of death, saving a life can be the most deadly job of all. Yes, we had an arrangement. 
political assassination wasn't in the contract. Nicholas Cage. If I see your people again, I'll kill you. Bangkok Dangerous. You and me together forever. Fifty years ago, the students of William Dawes Elementary imagined what the future might hold. Today, we unveiled their legacy. of dates. Every major global disaster for the last 50 years in perfect sequence. The next number on the chain predicts that tomorrow, 81 people are going to die in some kind of tragedy. Get off the train. Why? What's wrong? I'll just take the baby and get off the train. put the presumed dead at 81. The prediction came true, it's not coincidence. Don't let him watch the news. Why won't you tell me what's going on? <laughs> they were here. Who? The Lucifer people. The numbers are a warning. They're a warning to everyone. This is not a test. This is an emergency broadcast transmission. Are we gonna die? I will never let that happen, Caleb. Do you hear me? Never. Lieutenant, sir, the owner says they stole cash from the register. How much did they take? Five hundred dollars. Money now. Got it. You put up a $50,000 reward. What's going on? He ripped a nun up in Spanish Harlem. $120,000 on the last game. And the Dodgers lose game six. You miserable! Now you owe him $30,000. Sister, I can't imagine how you feel right now. How could you forgive these guys? The case with the fifty thousand dollars reward, remember? You can use that fifty to get yourself out of this hole. There's nothing to think about. Either you put in my bet or you get nothing. I told you once before that this guy will come by your house and blow your house up with your wife and kids and everybody in it. And do justice. Real justice. me to get wet on account of you? Hey, man, I got on Swiss cotton underpants. I'm gonna drown, sir. Come on, we'll get the time of death from our tops. Please! Come on, man. It ain't worth it. You are crazy. Come on. You okay? The good news, Terrence, is I'll okay you to return to full duty. The bad news is that you'll be experiencing moderate to severe back pain. Recognition of his leadership and tenacity, Lieutenant Terrence McDonough. This is who we're looking for. His name is Donald Godshaw. You up to this? Why wouldn't I be? Still have problems with your back. You take medication for it? Only what the doctor prescribes. <sighs> Got any illegal substances on you? 
for you. I'm Dave, the guy you robbed. You can make it right, you gotta come up with $50,000. Don't make me look for you, Terrence. You mind stepping outside? I'd like to talk to you. I'm gonna give you a chance to make some money the old-fashioned way. With a cop protecting you. You were crazy, man. <laughs> I took you to a place. It's amazing how much you can get done when you've got a simple purpose guiding you through life. On my own. Stand against the wall. You can empty your pockets, dump out the handbag. You want a hit? Yes. Where the sun always shines. What are these iguanas doing on my coffee table? There ain't no iguana. Yeah, there are. There ain't no iguana. Where's the 15,000? Put that gun away. Kill all of you. <laughs> to the break of dawn, baby. <laughs> I know the people are friendly there. Do you think these guys care you're a cop? Shoot him again. What fool? His soul's still dancing. Back at Nobody's ever tried to be a superhero. Well, I don't know. Probably because it's impossible. Putting on a mask and helping people? How's that impossible? Dude, if anybody did it in real life, they'd get their ass kicked. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just standing around, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah! I was just a regular guy. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, my only superpower oh. was being invisible to girls. <laughs> the comic books had it wrong. You don't need a power to be a superhero. Leave him alone! It's none of your business! Yes, it is. Hey, there's a dude dressed like a superhero they're fighting a bunch of guys. Who are you? I'm Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass has become the latest internet phenomenon. This is awesome. It's actually pretty good. He should call himself Ass Kick instead. <laughs> He's inspired a wave of real-life superheroes. Tool up, honey bunny. It's time to get bad guys. You wanna go fight some crime? Let's see what you can do. This guy comes out of nowhere. This would be the guy that looks like Batman. You're telling me one guy killed eight of my men tonight? I gotta send a public service message that being a superhero is bad for your health. So you wanna play? Who are you? I'm Hit Girl. And that's Big Daddy. Kick ass. Red mist. Oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah. I think I'm in love with her, dude. I want this place locked down. Nobody comes in, nobody goes out. It's a little kid. Oh, yeah. Didn't see that, did you? That's right, we're superheroes. You love us. What you just did isn't possible. 
I have been searching all over the world for you. You are going to be a force for good and a very important sorcerer. But for now, you're my apprentice. I'm a what? Step inside, you leave everything else behind. Once you enter, there is no going back. Sweet. Let's go. There's more to learn. I'm coming. You're too late. Hell's gonna walk the earth. Hell already is walking the earth. He broke out of hell to make things right. He was a good father. And God makes up with the wrong crowd. Now, he's got one last shot at redemption. That cult killed my daughter and took her baby. I am going to get her back. Thought you were dead. <laughs> you hoped I was dead. But the devil's right-hand man wants to bring him back. I'm looking for someone. Six one, angry with attitude. If you don't tell me what I want to know. Twenty-two miles of 
Hard road. Now that's a hell of a ride. Just so you know, I don't pick up hitchhikers. I didn't have my thumb out. Oh, yeah. We got a fight coming. That baby girl's all I got. My whole life has been nothing but waiting, and now it means something. I'm with you until the end. Oh, yeah. You can't stop me. I am going to kill you. Between now and then, I'm gonna mess you up. What kind of gun is that? You think there's anybody in there? I won't see you again until you're 73. You all see in three months. What the hell does that mean? Drive angry, shot in 3D. Wouldn't want to be you when Satan finds out. What's he gonna do? Not let me back in? Happy anniversary. It's beautiful. She has several deep lacerations, internal bleeding. Sorry to hear about your wife. Is she okay? The man's done it before. He'll do it again. We can take care of him for you. Who are you? I represent an organization that loves this city. We're tired of watching it go to hell. I really don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. This wouldn't cost you anything financially, but we may ask a favor of you at some point in the future. Who is this? Hey, Will. What do you want? Just a quick talk. Relax. Where'd you go? You okay? We just need you to do one thing. Nobody said anything in the agreement about killing anybody. So get the hell out of my life. We should go to the cops. We tell them everything. Some of them are cops. When it's done, you call me. A promise is a promise, Will. You have no idea what this guy is capable of. Where have you been? That I heard you walking around. Sir, we have a warrant for your arrest for murder. What the hell is happening? I'm done. Come back, I want to talk to you. How long have you been following me? Let's not forget what we did for you. We're just a few citizens seeking justice. Tonight. I have to go with your mother and this. No, I don't want to meet with your buyer. I want to meet with you. Looks so beautiful. Sarah, run! This is my house now. It's my house. It's my rules. Daddy's home. Don't you just love surprises? What do you want from us? I don't know. Why don't we start with everything you got? There's money here. There is money somewhere. You let my wife leave, and then I'll give you what you want! I'll give them what they want, please! Open the safe! They'll Don't. kill us, Sarah. They'll just kill us if I do. You're gonna put your thumb on that thing sooner or later. Only question is whether it'll still be attached to your body. We saw you sign for diamonds, lots of them. My baby brother and your loving wife. That's why we're here. That's why we picked you. If you say her, I'll do anything, anything you want. You know that, don't you? Open the safe. No. Nicholas Cage. Nicole Kidman. No! 
this pass. Well. It's good to see you again, Ryan. I dropped by Allison's. What is she now, 14? You look like your mom. I have to go. Hello? Hello, Will. Vincent? I want my share. Of the $10 million that was going to change our lives. There is no cash. That daughter of yours, she grew up real nice. Where is she? Your former partner has kidnapped your daughter and is holding her in a cab. I'm not being played by you. I want to talk to her now. I want to hear her voice now. This all depends on you. To save his daughter. There's no way you can steal $10 million. This isn't your life anymore. I'm running out of time. He has just 12 hours. You don't think he's telling the truth? No, I do not. To steal $10 million. Fire alarm just went off at Paris Community Bank. I want this guy nailed. Your father abandoned me, and I am going to make him pay for the both of us. Uh, honey, I'm going to get you out of this. Nicholas Cage. Time's up. Stolen. What just happened? There's been another murder. Found her last night. This one of your missing persons? That yeah, could be. She's late teens, maybe early 20s. She's not missing anymore. What do you make of this? Ever tried to saw a bone with a flat blade? Say so someone tried to remove her head. Any connection to the Jane Doe? When are you going to admit there's somebody taking these girls? It's not a first time. He's done it before. He'll do it again. I can't get these off. Eight girls in the last two years. There's not one lead except her, Cindy Paulson. She got away. Why don't you just start at the beginning? He brought me to his place. He called it his den. It was. It was more of a dungeon. Why isn't this guy on our list? Oh, hey, Bobby. Hey, Al, good morning. Hansen's an upstanding citizen. I have testimony from a witness who is a prostitute that refused a polygraph. It's a dead end. She's not your problem. 
She's not our kid. Well, she's someone's. We're looking for a white male, early 40s, history of sexual assault, and avid hunter. That's Hanson. I need physical evidence. We're reopening the case. This guy did it, and they let him get away with it. Oh, my God. He's going to dump it all. Did you panic when you killed them? Yeah. You had their blood all over your hands. I didn't do that. I need more. Or he's going to walk. I want to see if you have the guts to be honest. You think you're going to me? Mom, you don't have any idea who I am. I promise nothing's going to happen to you. Look, he's going to take me. Help me, please. Have you seen her? Have you seen this girl? He won't stop, and we know who he is. Drop the gun! Have you ever seen anybody do anything like this before? I don't know who I am, but I know what keeps me alive keeps me out of jail, keeps me from hurting people. I do as I'm told. What's the point in any of it? It's all just gonna boil up and wash us away. Hey, mister. Yeah? Me and my daddy just got into town. I was wondering if you'd give us a job. I pay a day's pay for a day's work. And if we work till dinner and get rained out, I pay for the whole day. Does that sound fair enough? Yes, sir. I'm Joe. And I watch that boy. I see someone who's nothing like me. What the hell you looking at? Why do you stick around like this? What's most important right now is me taking care of Dorothy and Mama. We kind of got a family problem right now. He's all beat up. I can't get my hands dirty in every little thing. You know how I get. Why you want to go back to the damn penitentiary, man? Freeze, Joe! For your mom and your sister. You'll be safe here. Person just don't know from one day to the next which one's going to be their last. Get the old, you Who am I to tell you how to live your life? Don't fool yourself too much about me. If I find out something's happened to that boy, I'm gonna whip whoever's ass has something to do with it. Thank you, sir. Uh, you don't need to call me, sir. I'm your friend. You think Joe's your daddy? I'm the one taking care of you. Folks looking for trouble tend to find more than they're after. If anything happens to me, you get out of the way, you hear? I've been looking for you and that kid. What have you done, Joe? Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Daddy. Caitlin, you're gonna be staying home tonight, right? Listen, we're just gonna hang out here, watch TV or something, but that is it. Falling back on any of your old habits. I'm out of the game, you know that. 
My brother, I will be the king. I will give you a reward. How old are you? Ten? Fourteen! Ah! If you save this boy, God will forgive you. Men cannot know God's will. When they pretend, it ends in blood. That I'll drink to. Mom. Chloe, welcome home. So is everything set for Dad's surprise party? Uh, he got called into work. Can I buy you a coffee? I'm waiting for someone. Uh, My dad. Hi, sweetheart. Hey. Welcome aboard PanCon Flight 257 to London. By time today will be six hours and 30 minutes. I love you. Plane have simply vanished. Chris, let me in! Chris! I know you all want answers, and believe me, so do I, and I'll do my best to get them. I heard some doctors talking. It's not just here, it's all over the world. One of these days, the sky's gonna break. Chloe, are you okay? Yeah, but Mom and Raimi, they're both gone. One of these days, the mountains are gonna fall into... No! Irene knew this was coming. The way it happened. How could she know that? He took them to protect them from the darkest time in the history of this world. about would never do something like this. 
We all have a right to know if we're gonna die. No, we're gonna die. I have no spoilers, no flaps, no elevators, and if I run this thing dry, no reverse thrust. I need some room. I just really need you to know how much I love you, no matter what happens. like the end of the world. One of these days the sky's gonna break and everything will escape and I'll know There are two kinds of people in this world. Men of action. What is the name of the source? And everyone else. It is my pleasure to introduce the only living recipient of the Intelligence Star, Evan Lake. CIA has taken some hits, but we're on our feet again because our country needs us and because we've got what? Values. NSA forwarded a hit on Baneer. He's alive. Mohammed Benir is dead Lake. has been for 22 years. It wasn't until the PET scan was complete that we could be sure. What is it, eight years and I'm dead? Frontal temporal dementia is much more aggressive. There's a concern that you could become a liability to the agency. I'm a liability? Who put you up to this, huh? Who's got their hand in your pocket now? You still have time left. Why waste it looking for someone who may not even exist? He does exist. There is a window here. It won't be open long, and Benir will have gotten away with it. I don't feel comfortable letting you go in there alone. I'm not helpless. It's his life, his choice, but no matter how this turns out, it will end badly for you. We got him scared now. He's been thinking about it for 20 years. Depends. When you die. If I'm not out in an hour, do whatever you want. Guys like that don't just die. I am going to do something worth remembering. Sure, these bastards pay for what they've taken from you. Well, all right, Congressman. This is the most devastating, man-made, environmental disaster in U.S. history. These people of the Louisiana Gulf Coast need our help. Even though this is British petroleum spill, it is America's ocean. That speech was a god. Don't blow it. This is what we've been waiting for. Today it appears the sun is shining on a Louisiana congressman nobody knows. It is in everyone's best interest to keep American oil healthy. I'm looking to back a horse that will support our interests. What makes you think I'd do this? We'll make sure that you're in the center of it all. Colin's not going to have one solitary friend in Washington. Colin, you're not going to resign. Louisiana's always been one big family, and we don't abandon our family when they make a mistake. You don't have to be the hero. You just have to make it look good. What the hell is that supposed to be? We're in the middle of a disaster here. People are suffering. We're not just gonna lay down. You're not gonna win. We'll see. People are broke, sick with dispersants. You're the only one down here doing a goddamn thing for us. And I want people to know I'm gonna be there for them. You are in uncharted waters. Do you keep risking everything that we worked for? Just gotta fight through it like a man. 
great men, men who build legacies, they aren't always decent. When's dad coming home? He should be on his way right now. There's something outside my window. Oh, baby, you're having a nightmare, huh? Come on in. We'll keep each other safe. Stay close to me. I need you to look where you're going, okay? Dad, can we pay the ghost? Pay the what? Charlie, did you see where my son went? Charlie! Charlie! Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? I was holding his hand. I protect him. Isn't that what a father does? He protects. I've been doing some research. Did you know that more children who disappear on Halloween don't ever come back? What if all of these missing children, what if they're all connected? What if there's something behind it? You can't keep beating yourself up. It won't bring him back. My son isn't dead. It has all the children. It's here. What happened to him? I am not going to stop looking. There is something different out there, and it's taking children. said I need two. That's all I have. I'll flip you for it. <laughs> this is full of cocaine. Yeah, I know. This needs to be submitted as evidence. Yes, right, absolutely, sorry. So, what do you want to do? You want me to rob a drug dealer for you? <laughs> rob a drug dealer? <laughs> um... I just want to put a tail on him. If it's a dead end, so be it. Whatever they're bringing here stays here. Nothing goes out. They do the drop-offs in the back, but where does it go once it's inside? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? I haven't heard anything from your department about this. You just reached from my phone? Yes, I did. In a suspicious manner. No, I wasn't, I swear. I would suggest that you're here under the auspice of illegal activity. I'll give you $100. OK. All right. Someone built a safe in the back of a grocery store, and we found it. Precisely. How do we, you know, get it out? Hello. Yeah, hello. Einen der so bored. The two bus and bankrobbers out of the bus. Yeah, full cool. Where'd you stash the van? Please don't be it. Please don't be it. Please don't be it. Something like this is worth doing if you can keep it quiet and simple. The way you just said that right now. That's not cool. The vault door isn't that old. Messing with it runs the risk of the fail safe. Unless we want to hire a professional safe cracker. Which we don't. Which we don't. It's caught open it. Are you sure? Hello? What you're saying is we drill down through the floor of the apartment. That's right. OK. You know the drill. <laughs> Can't do this. I don't know where we are right now. We're in the heart of the American dream. Diesel, and there was Mad Dog. 
We all did our piece at different times, and I was the last to come out. Once you are in, staying out is all but impossible. That's him. Hey, bro, look at this. This ain't no cop car. These chaps decided to throw me a welcome home party. Come on, though. You got a spot on my Versace! Versace, yeah. <laughs> you gotta get us some real work, because this is no kind of lie. Stick forever. So what's the gig? This guy, it's got a one-year-old out in the heights. I need you to snatch him. I don't know, man. Kid's still a baby, he ain't never gonna know. If he was four or something, I'd never be doing that. You wouldn't do that. This is the game plan. Big job for us, baby napping. No, that don't sound so good. It's not, and I'm not saying it is. There's a gig and there's a lot of money at the end. You run away to Hawaii. It never works out. I think it does sometimes. You just don't know about it because they run off to Hawaii and you don't ever hear from them again. You have absolutely no idea how to control your emotions. Just take our money. We won't say anything. We're going to call the police the minute he gets away. No, we are not. I didn't want justice. Am I under arrest? I just wanted what I wanted. Just like everyone. Well, you guys are so f Oh, you scared me. <laughs> Why, am I scary? You feel like you got problems? Then I started thinking. Once you've had money, you're never 100% sure who your friends are. <laughs> we are not gonna go down. It's gotta be samurai style. Jackie Chan. Best I can tell, you've been walking around with two broken legs for weeks. When do I go back? You ever again land on those legs of yours, those bones will turn to powder. Plenty other ways to serve your country. You want it to be special forces? Yes, sir. Why do you want to join the CIA? I'd like to help my country make a difference in the world. The average test time is five hours. I'm done, sir. It's been 40 minutes. 38 minutes? What should I do now? Whatever you want. The deputy director of the NSA offered me a new position. Can you tell me anything about it? <laughs> You know I can't. Find the terrorist in the internet haystack. You're making people very happy. Thank you. You ready for a little action? Oh, this looks juicy. How is this all possible? Think of it as a Google search, except instead of searching only what people make public, we're also looking at everything they don't. Emails, chats, SMS, whatever. Yeah, but which people? The whole kingdom's Snow White. NSA is really tracking every cell phone in the world. Most Americans don't want freedom. They want security. Except people, they don't even know they've made that bargain. Are they watching us? There's something going on inside the government that's really wrong, and I can't ignore it. I just want to get this data to the world. Hey, hey. I feel like I'm made to do this. And if I don't do it, then... I don't know anybody else that can. This is everything I have. They're gonna figure out what I've done. Did you access an unauthorized program? The government knows that we have these documents now. You're looking at a possible death sentence. I can't turn back from this. Watch yourself. We are running out of time. They're gonna come for me. They're gonna come for all of you too. America wants this war to end. End quickly. Where's this all going? Are you talking about the atomic bomb? Send a message loud and clear. If it works, 
They're heroes. President Truman has chosen you to lead a highly classified mission. Yes, sir! Where do we pick up our escort? It is top secret. There'll be no escort. Concerned about submarines, sir? What are we doing here? The Japanese are an extremely disciplined adversary, sir. That's a damn suicide mission. Full speed ahead. of hazarding your ship. How do you plead? Not guilty. Lieutenant! We just got a call in. There's something in the water. There are men everywhere! I don't want to land this plane. you in high school. I must have gone through about a hundred boxes of Kleenex. That is disgusting, but I'll take it. Hello, Gary. God? I've got a favor to ask you, Gary. A favor? I need you to go over to Pakistan and capture Bin Laden for me. Capture Bin Laden? We're talking about destiny, Gary. Yes! You and Osama Bin Laden. That's crazy. No, I have a lot to do. I'm planning and training. What? Hey, man, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm pretty sure you can't fail to Pakistan. I'm sailing! Is this Pakistan? No, senor. Reason for visits? Taking care of business. So how do you like it here in Pakistan? Pakistan is very, very beautiful. I love America, so we're even. I love America, too! What's this? An American's at loose in the slums of Islamabad. He's searching for Osama bin Laden. He's obsessed. Hello. Damn it. You afraid of anything? Does anything scare you? <laughs> your bizarre fantasy that somehow you're James Bond or something. Ah, oh, God damn it! You see that? 
my motorcycle. And he's gonna lead us to Osama bin Laden. Are you serious? Oh my God! Get in the truck, Gary. Yes, Lord. Don't yes, Lord me. Yes, Lord. I said don't say that. Yes, my Lord. What's this now? What's it? It's not Aladdin. I'm not a genie. Welcome, Al-Qaeda Crips, to my cave. My name is Sama Bin Laden. But this is my homies on the left here. This guy here, he make them white boys tremble, so we'll just call him Milkshake. You know, Mike, I have a job for you if you want it. We're brothers, don't worry about me. This is how you talk to you about Mikey. It's always something. Is it true what I heard? You bought some coke and you wanted to flip it? What do you want me to say? So you're a drug dealer now. Where's my coke, huh? Where is it? Your brother's always getting into trouble. It's Mikey. I owe everything to him. I think we're even. Oh, you think we're even, you and I? I know of a way where we can both earn what we deserve. There's no amount of money that I would do that for. You owe me! You owe me! He's gonna get himself killed. Mikey, you have a daughter. I'm not perfect like you. She's been hanging out with these meth head losers. What would you know? We raise the stakes. Threatening to hurt my niece. You make sure that you bring the money and we'll call it even. I gotta put together 350 grand. You sure you wanna do this? They're gonna kill her. What do I do? You gotta face it. The police aren't gonna help you here. The cops aren't gonna stop it. Somebody has to. Look at me. Are you lying to me? Don't lie to me. You lost your mind. They're gonna kill you both. Tomorrow, money in a suitcase. I'll have the money. We're gonna kill them. I got no problem with that. Time to sell this. I can see why I like your mom. I'll run you home. No, we're gonna walk. Call you in the morning. There once was a mermaid lived by the pond. Tina McGuire. <laughs> Niagara Falls detectives are investigating a brutal attack on a local woman and her 12-year-old daughter. You're her only witness. I need your help. That's it. This was a confused and frightened child. Lying or whose mother, Tina, was so derelict as a parent Jackson to drag Hunter. her to a drunken orgy party. But it wasn't rape, it was consensual. They are completely innocent. Can you please help us? Well, why would they do that? I'm gonna do you just like I did Tina. <laughs> We have a document in this country. It's called the Constitution. What's not in that document is vigilante cop justice. Who knows? You might even need my services someday. And I hope you'll never need mine. I like that. purpose to discharge my sworn duty as an officer of the law. I think it's 
last time she slept in her own bed. Mm, next week. Bye for you, Dad. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. You really miss having more kids, don't you? We wanted a big family. Is she yours? She's really cute. I'm Angela Morgan. Katie Wells. Who's that? That's Katie, my play date. Here it is. Nice to meet you, Dr. Morgan. Right. Let's all raise a glass. I just feel like I'm part of the family now. My mom said Katie gives her the willies. Your mother doesn't like anyone. Why don't you just move to our guest house? You could also be our part-time nanny. Angela and Brian are going to try for another kid. They're going to use a surrogate. Wait, they're going to ask me? No, me. What are you doing? They're my babies. You're sick. We won't have the family that we wanted. I'm not out of options. Have you thought any of this through? What did Katie get out of it? She's very beautiful, isn't she? Hideous. The last thing I want is for her to question either one of us. How old are your girls? They look just like you. Yeah, I get that all the time. She's not your daughter. This is your job. Yeah, to raise one of your kids and carry the other. You're hiding something, and I'm gonna find out what it is. I think she may be mentally unwell, possibly dangerous. Enough! We don't know anything about this woman. You're a drug addict. I'd rather die than have my child be raised by you. You endangered the baby. Katie has grounds for keeping him now. She's trying to kill me. You're pathetic. You accuse her of murder. Away from me. You're gonna kill me? Kill us? Can I go to a movie with Riley tonight? With Riley? Your grandparents are coming for dinner tonight, remember? Awesome. Grandpa telling his disgusting Vietnam stories. Take my advice, don't ever have kids. Everything just revolves around you, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what is the rush today? It's like we're waiting for a buffet. What's going on? Is that McKenna's mom? Multiple reports are now coming in of parents murdering their own children. Listen to me. We have to get out of the house before mom and dad come home. Leaving security perimeter A57. I'm aware of the danger. I'm making this trip of my own free will and without coercion. As you know, across Humanity Bureau, we have an appointment. You must be a productive citizen. It is the law. New Eden will provide you with the fresh start you so rightly deserve. But don't you want a better life? I'm no fool. I know the truth. I am a citizen of the United States of America. Hi. Time to the White House. Agent Noah Cross, leaving security perimeter A57. Please record and confirm the following. Case file 5667996. Rachel Weller, single mother, age 30, son Lucas, age 11. 
as citizens of this great nation, it's our duty to contribute more than we take. My friend Bobby Sloan moved to New Eden. He promised to write, but he didn't. People are desperate. Can't find clean water. Soil won't grow food. Radiation contaminated everything. No way you can't help these people. Their fate is sealed. They've got 24 hours. What is the truth? This will answer all of your questions. You can help others. What have we done? You have to leave the three of us. Now! Or whatever Cross is planning, it's your responsibility to make sure he doesn't succeed. Or you may end up in the New Eden as well. Can you help us cross the border into Canada? You run and you don't look back, you hear me? There's something down there. It's Cross, he's down there and I know it. Keep your heads down. serpent's eye, strange and eternal. I need you to get me that girl I saw. Do you know what to do? You're a special one. Mandy, I too am a special one. Let us be so very special together. So what are you going to do with that thing? I'm going hunting. So what you hunting? Crazy evil. You think you're so in love? I'll show you love. Oh man, they wronged you. You exceed the cosmic darkness. Glowed from within, strange and eternal. This all feels really good to me, Ray. Hey, once business picks up, I think we're gonna be real comfortable here. Yeah, me too. So old Ben finally went and sold the place. You usually run hotels? No, I'm an electrician. I just wanted to try something different. What's that? is still 
unknown. And that's her, isn't it? She was our first guest. Well, the boys over at the gas station said you peeled out of your parking lot pretty fast. Everybody knows everybody around here, except you. Did you do it? Did, did I do what? Did you do it? You were with that girl the night she died. I saw you at my place. You like to watch that end? Did you see anybody? Well, why would I watch your place? You tell me. This is a crime. We could lose the motel. Did you do it? Did I do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? What did you see? Did you see something, Ray? What's happening, Mike? Well, you know. And this is completely safe? Yes, we do these ride alongs all the time. You ready to go? Yeah, I guess. Will you shut that thing off? Everywhere I go, they've got a camera in my face. This is the time to retire, because everyone's got a camera and everyone's got a lawyer. I'm retiring at the right time. I was That's a right. cop at the right time. You're going to have a lot of crap to deal with moving forward. Five minutes. We're in, we're out, and we're rich. On the ground, now! On the ground! One suspect with an automatic weapon outside National Bank. Just for it, just for it! Not here to play any game. My ride along. We gotta find him. I'm hit like this. Hang on, Mac. Let's give us something else to worry about. Get him out of there now! And only get to this active shooter as quick as possible. No, you were you were an hour late, and we were outgunned. What took you so long? I don't understand how it happened, but the universe given me a second chance. I need your help with my daughter. What are you doing here? Without your help, my daughter would be gone now. Try and get some rest. I brought her back. You brought someone back. I missed you. you. When you go to the other side, are there other people there? His wife and his daughter, they died in a fire. I missed you. you. Ever leave me alone again? I'm not going to let it go wrong this time.
time keeps marching on, ain't nothing we can do about it. About everything. Nineteen years. Scores have to be settled. The world's changed since you're a day old man. Where do you think you're going, Pops? That's a 226 clone. Wanna suck on it? You kids like them because you think they look cool. Truth is, it's one of the most unreliable firearms in the world. What else do you want? In a 9mm, something Italian. Is it really worth it? People are gonna die either way. What if you get killed first? At least I get to take a few of them down with me. Look at this. All those years in the big city, we finally got out. We're living the dream. Maybe it is a dream. like a pink light, or actually, I don't even know what color it was. It wasn't like any color I'd ever seen before. Looks like a meteorite. I mean, it's radioactive. I mean, it's from space, right? Meteorites are generally no more dangerous than ordinary rocks. How can something that big just disappear? Did you plant those? No. Ward, you come here for a sec. Oh, God. What are you doing? Shh. It's talking to me. Who's talking to you? A man in the well. It's in the static, it's in the moisture. It's in here, it's out there. And what's out there is in here now. Everything's under control. Oh, why are you so in denial? That thing from the meteorite changes everything around it. Can you believe me now? I don't know what I believe anymore. creating a whole new attic, new profits, new markets, the whole shop. That's the second load now that's been light and overcut. I'm aware. This is your territory. It's your responsibility. So fix it. You got anything? It's not good. Double the task force. We got to get this off the streets. Are you going somewhere? There are some administrative issues I have to attend to. Are you happy? It's a start. You come in on this next run with me. I cut you in on the end game. All right? You ready to go? Did you fix the problem? So you're a big time player now. It's a big boat you're rocking. As long as we've been fighting it, nothing has changed. Have you lost your mind? You have gambled. You have lost. It's over. You have the eyes.
lies in the hands of a violent man. I know, because I know violent men. When does a violent man really think he's going to find peace? If you need anything... You here all night? Uh, I was going to say dial zero zero. Yes, I am. I thought you were the clerk. Clerk, bartender, security guard, owner. How long you had this place? About a year. A friend of mine left it to me. Well, we're here. You don't have any friends. Not anymore. I'm getting out of a difficult situation. Because you're using someone else's money. I don't see it that way. But someone does. Do you know who I am? You are a type. Are you a type too? Yeah. The kind that doesn't want to get shot. <laughs> You got a bad feeling about this get out. I leave without knowing what's going on, then I don't know what's going on. He doesn't trust you. <laughs> I can trust you, but you can't trust me. Right. You want to die. I kind of don't like you. You set this in motion. You want me to say I'm sorry? I'm not the guy you think I am. You don't want to be, but you are. I assumed you had a gun in your purse. I did. I just got to the knife first. Take it easy with my cat! What is it? White Jag. Maybe 400 pounds. I have hit the mother load. Ah. To the mother load. <laughs> I think this one's going to the highest bidder. So nice to see American faces. Marine Commando. Under arrest for crimes against humanity. Seizures can happen without warning. My radio will be on 24 hours. Dr. Taylor. The man that we're looking for is a mercenary assassin, a professional killer. Loffler let most of the animals out. So many places he can hide. Who says he's gonna hide? I'm going hunting. Government wants him alive. If you Lawler, put a bullet in him. And the same goes for the cat. You kill my cat, I'll blow your head off. In a real nice cage for you. Rated R. $20,000. That's what I'm gonna pay you to kill my wife. The devil comes to meet you. I've been watching you. This is destiny. Be sure to take my baby. Residents are advised to stay indoors. We got a hurricane. You'd like to make a call. You best get comfy. If you need help. All signs clearly point to you being the murderer. Tell me what happened. I didn't do anything. If he finds you hiding, is it true that your wife don't treat you right? He will surely know. She drives me insane. <laughs> I know you got this in you. Without the sweet touch of love, we ain't got nothing. The devil comes. She's got a dark side, darker than hell. The devil comes. You gonna have to trust me. You see what you did? You expect me to believe you didn't commit murder? Have a look in our basement. What's he talking about? He's a monster. <laughs> you know that. How the hell are you still alive?
must have been a pretty bad fall. The comet you see in the sky right now passes over the Earth every six years and causes a portal. But when it's open, we get a visitor from a distant galaxy. The poet warrior in the sci-fi sense. The spaceman. And he comes here looking for a fight with you. The chosen jujitsu. If he doesn't get it, he stays and he kills everything. That is alien politics 5 through 15. Now you are all the chosen jujitsu fighters. But as long as you die bravely, no one else will have to. He's crazy, like me. There's no honor in killing crazy. I can fly too. My granddaughter has been lost to us. I would have her return to me post haste. And you, sir, I am told, are the man to do the job. Each arm is equipped with an explosive device. Your trousers are also equipped with explosives. <laughs> really? Just beyond the point where we now stand lies a highway where evil reigns. What is this? At the end of five days, if you have not returned with Benice, well, I think you get the idea, son. Godspeed. This is the ghost land, a land of no escape. We are not the ones who hold her captive. It's been two days, and still she is missing. How do I get out of here? You must surrender to fate. escapes the ghost land. No one! Welcome to Willie's Wonderland. Spend the night cleaning Willie's Wonderland, and I will pay to have your car fixed. Deal? You are officially on staff. Let's get the hell out of here. I can't stand to hear a grown man scream. This place has a dark history. I know the bullshit story they told you. It's a lie. You're here to be a human sacrifice. Have you been listening to a word I've been saying? He's gonna die in here, but he won't listen to me. The machines got out. 
nobody is safe. Put your balls on, Evan. We're going to Willie's. He's not trapped in here with them. We're trapped in here with him. It's your birthday, and we want you to have It's your birthday, so let's go. I enjoy a man a few words. I'm looking for a truffle pig. Someone stole her. I don't understand. Tell me who you are. You made the right choice, being out there in the woods. There's nothing here for you anymore. There's really nothing here for most of us. Buy yourself a new pig. What are you thinking? I remember every meal I ever cooked. I remember every person I ever served. You live your life for them, and they don't even see you. You don't even see yourself. Where's my pig? <laughs> What's the worry here, Nick? You've lost some of your talent as an actor? No. <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. I'm quitting acting. Tell the trades it was a tremendous honor to be a part of storytelling and myth making. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm driving through the hills. I'm sorry. One more time. We got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. I would never do that. It's the easiest gig ever. You play yourself. What do we know about this guy anyway? Is he into something strange? It's not like he's gonna want you to suck his dick or fuck his wife or watch you watch him fuck his wife. I wouldn't think so. Welcome to Mallorca, Mr. Cage. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Is Javi gonna want me to, uh... Play him, Javi. Nick Cage. God, this place is stunning. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you, I do. Is it too much? Okay. Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. Position. I think that's the actor Nick Cage. Nick Cage? I love you. Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why the fuck would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. I'm thinking the dog. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you to help the U.S. government. Let's kill this love. Find a way into that room, Nick. 
see myself doing more of this stuff. I think I might have a real gift for it. Good, because we got another mission for you. No, 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 no. Your friend is working for the U.S. government. Don't lie to me. Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I love you. I love you. You trust me, Sally. Can be dangerous? I'm Nick fucking... want you to understand how good a woman your mama was. She took Colton Briggs, the coldest killer that I've ever met, and she turned him into a family man. My mama's dead now. <laughs> Coming in one way or another. Tell me the names of the men who did this. As long as that little girl is alive, there's no room for vengeance. You're protecting a killer from another killer. Can you teach me how to shoot? Both of you put your hands behind your back. Now, Briggs? Especially that Rossi. My father wants your gun. I'll blow her brains all over this valley. You ain't scared of nothing. If Briggs decides he's coming, Colton Briggs is coming. He's here! Sound like he's the one who's scared. <laughs> My whole life, I'd seen fear in the eyes of every man I ever met. Please don't kill me. Let's do this the old way. Is my father still a good man? You boys woke up the devil. Sorry to interrupt. Are you okay? I need to get out of a toxic relationship. Why don't you start by telling us what brought you here? My boss. He's different. You can't get him out of your head. No. I need your assistance. I'm coming, Martha! Oh, you feel like he could destroy you with the snap of his fingers. Wouldn't even need to snap. Ah! Okay. Uh-huh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, what? Renfield. Bringing innocent victims. I want a handful of nuns, a busload of cheerleaders. And I just want a normal life again. But this modern world is a dangerous place. Thank you. You saved my life. Did I watch you cut a guy with a decorative serving platter? It's all in the wrist. Let me explain. My boss gave me this power. In return, I tend to his needs, including care, feeding. You bring in people to eat? You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. But if you were to stop focusing on his needs, what would happen? He won't grow to full power. Exactly. He won't grow to full power. What? That's so weird. Why would you phrase it like that? But yes. Hi. Are you here for the meeting? Well, come on. No! Oh, no! no! Some call me the Dark One. Others, the Lord of Death. To most, I am the Lachula. Okay. Obviously, we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. Now, let's eat. Ready? Okay. Okay. Let's do this.
this. People always say, don't assume the worst. You excited? Yeah. Is it a boy or girl? We don't know. Sometimes the worst is exactly what you should assume. So my wife is in the hospital. She's about to give birth. Drive. This is a family emergency. I'm your family emergency now. Whatever it is that you want, it's yours. Is this the wife? David, where are you? Ah! I mean, are you happy? You and your wife have a happy marriage? Just stick away from my family. Yeah. That's rude. You interrupting me, don't. You know what I don't need tonight? Stress. <laughs> Let's just make wise decisions. Watch the speed limit. Where are we going? You're not listening to me. I will shoot you. <laughs> And this cop! I told you not to speed. We should play a little game. I want you to tell me the truth. If you don't, I am gonna kill Mr. Happy Trucker and this waitress. Ready? Pick, pick. You got me confused with someone else. Really? I'm not who you think I am! I've never even told you who I think you are, so how could you know you're not who I think you are? Tick, tick. Sit back down! It's getting good. Oh. I'm not gonna die tonight. I dressed up for this. I, I wanted to be 100% sex tonight, and you cut that in half. I'm now 50% sex. People tend to think the more violent the death, the higher to heaven you go. Better to rain in hell, wouldn't you agree? Pick up the phone, James! What, what, what are you, ghosting me? What are you, Dr. Ross, my psychiatrist? <laughs>